Good afternoon. Today I want to clarify some incorrect statements that Spencer Collier has made about me and about Aaliyah. First, the allegation and implication for Mr. Collier in reference to me intercepting a sexually explicit text in August of 2014 is completely false and without merit. Secondly, for clarification, I have not ordered the closure of any investigation. This is another incorrect statement from Mr. Collier. Malia routinely conducts criminal investigations and special inquiries. Upon completion of the investigation or inquiry, the investigative file or findings or turned over to the proper authorities. However, consistent with the agency policy, Aaliyah does not discuss pending or ongoing investigations or special inquiries. Effective February the 29th, two non-merit positions and two part-time retired state employee positions were eliminated and will remain vacant, representing a savings of over a quarter of a million dollars. Please note, in accordance with personnel policy, Medical insurance coverage is terminated the last day of the month in which the employee separates from the agency. We will continue to evaluate all aspects of Aaliyah and make adjustments as necessary to continue the streamlining of our agent in accordance with the intent of the legislature in consolidating state law enforcement. Aaliyah is focused on the future and my priority remains the same, to carry out the mission of the agency and ensure our law enforcement officers and support staff honorably provide service, protection, and safety for all of our citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Today is a uh, difficult day for me. The recordings that were referred to by Spencer Collier in his press conference were actually made two years ago. Since that time, I've apologized to members of my family, to Mrs. Mason and her family, and I apologize that to them for any conversations and behavior that was inappropriate. Today, I want to apologize to the people of the state of Alabama. And once again, I want to apologize to my family. I am truly sorry, and I accept full responsibility. I want everyone to know, though, that I have never had a physical affair with Mrs. Mason. I can assure the people of Alabama that as their governor, I have never done anything illegal. I have never asked any member of my staff or any cabinet member to lie despite what the Aaliyah Secretary, former Aaliyah Secretary, said today. And at no time have I ever used the resources of my office to facilitate a relationship of any type. In 2014, camp when I was campaigning for governor, I leased an airplane to allow me to attend political functions. And it is wrong for the state airplane to be used for political purposes. And out of an abundance of caution, my campaign leased a plane. It has always been my honor and my privilege to serve the people of this state and to serve as their governor. As I've always tried to do, I'm going to continue to work hard for the people of this state and do the absolute best job that I can. I'm going to open it up for questions. Governor, you said you had no physical relationship with Ms. Mason. What, describe your relationship with Ms. Mason beyond the fact that she is your, your clearly your closest aide and confidant. Well, I think that's what she is. I, she is she is my closest aide or one of my, one of my aides that is part of my leadership team. And she does an outstanding job. She has worked for me in various capacities. In fact, she has been with me uh, the entire time before I was, was elected governor. Uh, I have several members of my leadership team right now that have been with me that length of time. Uh, Zach Lee and Wesley Helton as well as, and, and uh, Will Edwards has also to a certain extent. But Governor, uh, you don't make sexually explicit comments to them, I take it? And you did with her. I, I made a mistake. Two years ago, I made a mistake. 
I have rectified that. I have I have dealt with that, and we have moved on. Did you only make a mistake when people were recording you? No. Governor, what specifically are you apologizing for if you did not have a physical relationship? What is? I'm apologizing. I'm apologizing for the things that I said. What do you say, Governor? Well, there whatever's been reported. So that is you on the tape. I haven't heard the tape. I have not heard the tape, so I don't know who is on the tape. But I'm just saying that I'm sure that I have. At that time, we I said some inappropriate things, and I know that I did that. And so I'm just apologizing for that to her, and I'm apologizing to my family and to the state of Alabama. Why would you make those statements if you were not involved in a physical relationship? And you are listening right now. Well, to the people of Alabama uh, have twice elected me. And I have been totally honest with the people of Alabama. And I'm being honest today. And I am only thing I'm asking the people of Alabama today to do is, as I say, stand before you and stand before the people of this state and say that I've made a mistake. I have made the mistake. And, and I'm just asking those that have been involved, including the people of this state, to forgive me. And, and I want to serve the people of this state because I truly believe that I was placed here for a purpose, and I'm going to fulfill that purpose. Governor, Governor is there your physical relationship? Is it a romantic relationship? Is that romantic relationship still ongoing? What do you mean a romantic relationship? Do you love Mrs. Mason? I, I love many members of my staff. In fact, all the members of my staff. Do I love more than I do others than I do, you know, some uh, more than others? Absolutely. Mr. Collier said today that you have, quote, admitted to him you were madly in love. Well, I don't think I've ever said that to Mr. Collier. Is that Sir, accurate? you've trusted Collier for years from day one of your administration. Why shouldn't people believe what he's saying now? Why is there not to be a different standard? Every day put their life on the line for the citizens. Well, uh, what Mr. Collier is saying today is just not accurate and it's just not true. Governor, did the mistake that you no, say you made contribute to your divorce? I don't have any comment on that. Governor, would I have made you apologize? Any decisions in your administration, sir? Kim. Governor, you said you apologized to your family and Ms. Mason's family. I assume that was prior to today that was in the past i have apologized to my children uh and and I've, i'm apologizing again but that was sometime in the past yes the yes can you describe what led to that apology well I, you know we you know uh, kim we have been through a very difficult year uh i have and my ex-wife has uh and my children have my grandchildren have uh and mrs mason has and her family. Uh, it's, it's not just one family. There have been a lot of people who have been hurt by all of this. And the entire state of Alabama has suffered during this time. And, and so I, I want us to, to start from this point on. We need to move forward, and we've tried to do that. And, and we've made great strides in that. Oh, I have known about the... I have known, I have been told about the possibilities of tapes for two years. I have never heard tapes. I have never seen tapes. But I have been told that for two years. But you know what, but you know what you did, sir. Oh, I, I, I know, I know. Why have you not until today voiced, voiced an apology to public until today? Well, first, let me say, I, I have stated emphatically today that I have not had a physical relationship with Mrs. Mason. And at times in the past have I said things that I should not have said? Absolutely, and that's what I'm saying today. Governor, were these comments, were they an isolated incident or were they, did they take place over a longer period of time? How long was this inappropriate communication last for? Uh, I really, it, it was a period of time. I really can't say exactly the length of time, but it, it, it was over, I, you know, I, I don't want to say a period of months. I'm not going to say that because I, I'm just, I, I'm just saying that it, it was a period of time in my life that, that I, that I have made inappropriate comments. Did and she, that's, did she ask you to stop? 
Did Ms. Mason ask you to stop? No. Governor, there's a portion of that recording in which you were heard saying, I like to walk up behind you and touch you and put my hand on your breast. How would you say that if you were not involved in the federal court? Well, I, what I'm saying is there was no sexual activity. You've always called as one of the most trusted and liked public officials. How do you move forward with reestablishing that trust and liability from the people of Alabama? You know, let me let me say this. I make mistakes. Uh, even the most trusted person on earth makes mistakes. Uh, you know, that's that's one of the great things uh, in my life that I, I feel that. That as a human being, I, I do make mistakes. But the most wonderful thing that I have that, that in my life is I truly believe that the God who loves me loves me even through the mistakes. And he uses those. And he uses even difficult times in our lives like I've, I've been going through. And he's going to use those to make me better and to make other people around me better. And so that's 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 how I look at it. Okay, thank you, Governor. Uh, thank y'all. Have you entertained the idea of stepping down? No, I have not. Thank you, Governor. Yeah, thank y'all. Governor Robert Bentley not even entertaining the thought of stepping down, folks. You are watching this live press conference from Montgomery, and I have got to say, awkward is the word I would use as I listen to Governor Robert Bentley deny any sexual allegations that were leveled against him this afternoon by his former top cop, Spencer Collier. Governor Robert Bentley saying that he did not have a physical relationship with his top advisor, Rebecca Mason, but he does say that he made many inappropriate comments. He has said he is sorry for those comments, he is sorry for what has happened, and that he has apologized to his family, and he is apologizing today to those in the state of Alabama. Uh, this is, again, very, very awkward words from the governor as he stumbled over his words, denying these allegations. There is a lot to sort out. A lot was said this afternoon from Spencer Collier. We have a crew in Montgomery, several crews, and we'll be bringing you the latest tonight on News 5 at 5. I'm Devin Walsh with this breaking news update.